Hello, I'm Mal and welcome. You know, it occurred to me recently uh, as I started some series of Game Dev Tycoon Modified Edition that not everybody might not know how to actually modify their game. So it's really, really simple in Steam with Steam Workshop. So I thought I'd do a brief video here to show you how to do it. So from the main store page, there's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, probably the easiest is to just click on your library, go to games, select the game that you want to modify. In this case, it's Game Dev Tycoon. And then we're going to go over here to community page. That'll pop right up. I select workshop. And then here's the workshop available mods for Game Dev Tycoon. Now, uh, you can sort by most subscribed, most recent. If you if you hover over one, it'll give you the information. Matter of fact, this Jambers expansion pack uh, 0.90 is actually one that I'm going to test out in my season two uh, of uh, Game Dev Tycoon. So I'm actually going to check that one out right now. And if you look right here where it says your workshop files, your files, you click on subscribe and it shows you which ones I'm currently subscribed to. So just for purposes of illustration, let me unsubscribe from this one. And let's say uh, workshop items. Let's go back. Managed to screw that up. <laughs> let's see. Community hub. There we go. And workshop. And then I actually want Jammer's expansion pack. So I'll click on that. I'll say subscribe. I'm now subscribed. And then if I go back to workshop, I can look at my files and you can see that it's there. So these are the, the ones that I'm using for my new series. As you can see here, they're listed. Now, I still have to enable them in the game itself. So I'll make a quick cut in this video and I'll show you that process in game. OK, so I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, now. When you come into the game for the first time with a new expansion pack, you may have this issue here where it's going to say there's a mismatch between the mods you've used in the save game and the mods you currently have active. Just say load anyway. And then when you start a new game, what you're going to want to do anytime you've installed new mods so that there's not any issues. Now, in order to get things to work properly, you're going to need a couple of things, at least for Game Dev Tycoon. First off, Pretty much everything's going to use this ultimate LIB, ultimate library suite. So you're going to need this as a baseline mod. So make sure that you subscribe for that off of Steam. And then any of the others that you want, they'll be listed here. And okay, so this comes automatically into the game dev mod API. You want ultimate LIB. And then these are the two that I'm going to be using this time through, which is percentager. Those are the percent of time allocation in developed stages displayed on the feature focus bar. And then I'm using Jamber's expansion pack, which I alluded to earlier, which gives new topics and some other research things. Now, by default, it's going to look something like this. OK, so you'll see this will be enabled. These others won't. OK, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to come into mods and you'll need to select them. If they're highlighted blue, that means they're selected. Then you'll need to exit out. And you'll need to restart your game. So you'll have to exit completely out of the game and come back in. You may get that warning again about having a, a mismatch. No big deal. Just say go ahead and load it, go into the game. And then what I do is save over an existing game or start a new game and then save right away. And then I exit out of the game again and come back in and I don't get any errors and I haven't had any issues. Now, it's entirely possible that certain mods may not be compatible with others, but I really haven't had that problem. As long as I followed this process, I've been good to go. So I hope this is helpful to you, and if it was, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. As always, I appreciate comments and feedback. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I hope that you hang around and who knows, maybe you reward me with a subscription. Thanks, folks.